Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Now, I was gonna make this episode when the update came out last week, but I was kinda like, eh, there's not really much content to make a video about, but the thing that I wanna investigate in this episode is really gonna be interesting. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up! Cause here we go. So the thing that I wanted to try out in this episode involves Saki and Kokona. And speaking of Kokona, you can actually enter a secret Kokona mode. All you gotta do is press B in the settings mode, and then Kokona mode is activated. You guys see that over there? Big ol' Kokonas all around the school. You got your Kokonas over there. That's a huge bitch! You got your Kokonas every freaking where around the school. And if you guys don't know why it's called Kokona Mode, then I don't really know what to tell you. But anyway, what I wanted to show you involves Kokona and Saki, and it also involves this Naifu that I have, but I'm gonna put it away before Kokona sees me. And I wanna try a couple things out, and I wanna see if some of the things I'm thinking about will happen. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna end Kokona's Laifu. Mm. And now Saki is gonna fight with me because she cares about Kokona so damn much and she will take us down at any cost. So I'm actually gonna turn Saki into a mind slave and let's see if we can snap her out of her mind slave state if we kill Kokona first. Okay, so I got Kokona following me. I got two Naifus in my inventory. I'm gonna give one to Saki mind slave and I'm gonna kill Kokona before she does and let's see if Saki snaps out of it. I'm gonna make sure she sees this and... Whoa, bam! Come on, kill her! Nope. Oh, I can't kill her?! Are you kidding me? Wow, so after you give Saki the knife, there's no option to kill Kokona. All right, let's do this, man. This one's got to be timed perfectly. So let me give Saki the weapon real quick. Oh my god, I got to be quick. Got to be quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, pour this bitch on her. Fuck! Stop getting close to me! Okay, got her. Oh, fuck, she's going to get her before me! No, get up, Yanchan! Come on. Go, 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 go. Fuck you, son of a... All right, here we go, guys. No more bullshit. Let's give Saki the weapon. And we got to make this one quick. There you go. Okay, good. I think what we can do this this time. Yanchan just got to get up really fast. Like come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Set her on fire. And there we go. She's still going to get her? Yep. Okay, she's still going to get her. So that's not going to work. I got to think of something else. Okay, so apparently when you give Saki the weapon, you're no longer able to attack Kakona. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. Because I wanted to attack Kakona and then have Saki like snap out of her mind slave state and attack me instead. But I don't think that's going to happen. You know what, guys? Let's try this a different way. I'm getting Kokona to follow me. And this time, I'm going to kill Saki with an Easter egg since I can't kill any of them once, like, the animation starts of me giving the weapon to Saki. So I'm going to Falcon Punch Saki once I give her the weapon. And let's see if Kokona does anything to me. So I'm going to give her this. Falcon mode time. And then once she gets up, I'm going to Falcon Punch that ass so fast, baby. <sighs> What's up, Kokoni? You going to do anything about it? I am... Shooketh. No, she's not gonna do jack shit. She's like, I didn't even like Saki anyway. She ain't my friend. I don't care about her. All right, you know what? Let me try one more thing involving Kakona and Saki. And can we take a second to wonder how the fuck this dude got stuck in between these doors? How the hell did that happen, my dude? Seriously. Your martial arts ass ain't gonna karate kick your way out of that one. Okay, so now it's a new day. I learned all of Riku and Kakona's secrets about each other so I can make them fall in love. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have Kokona and Riku fall in love like at the end of the week. And then I'm going to kill Saki right in front of them. Let's see if Kokona snaps out of like her lovey-dovey state. And let's see if she attacks me or if she's just super chill about it. And also another martial arts student got stuck in this door. If I go through here, I can't even do that shit. Okay, Kokona's up here and she's blushing. She's waiting for Riku. Riku actually went home. I don't know why, but you know what? Fuck it. We're going to end her life. Oh, shit. Wrong life. Okay, there you go. Kokona saw the love letter. She's looking from side to side. She's like, who the fuck sent me this? Now she's going over to the cherry tree. What about you, Riku? Are you going to do the same thing? Okay, cool. He is walking to the cherry tree also. No, he's just thinking. Thinking if he wants to go. Oh, my God, Riku. Are you kidding me? You sure are a bucket of fuck right now. Let me close this just so I can help you out a little bit. And let's get this started, and let's see if Kakona is too lovey-dovey to care about Saki, or if she'll come to her friend's rescue once I end her life. Ooh. Okay, so we got the cutscene plan. I'm just gonna skip it because we all know what this is about. They're talking about their deep feelings, then they're gonna hug, then they're gonna kiss, even though they barely like each other for a week. And let's see, we got Saki right here. We got Kakona all lovey-dovey with her main man, Riku. Got my knife right here. And flub. Bam! She doesn't give a shit. She's just kissing this dude. Are you serious? She gives no fucks. They're doing like some head sway bullshit. And her friend is right there dead. 
<laughs> and she gives no fucks. This is a tragic love story between two friends and a lover. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. But I'm pretty sure if we kill Riku, it's gonna be a different story, right? Oh wait, we can't kill him. Once they're in the love mode, they're basically invincible. Okay. Seriously though, what in the actual fuck are they doing? They're not kissing. They're not hugging. If anybody can explain what the hell's going on here, is this what the kids are doing in school nowadays? Because I have no idea. Let me know down low in the comments below, because these two sure are a bucket of fuck. Oh, and also, a couple days ago, I played a game called Shoujo City. It was one of the weirdest games that I've ever played in my damn life. She's eating the box. I've seen it all. But the reason why I'm even mentioning it is because, as you guys can see right behind me, there's some Yandere Simulator toys in this UFO catcher. I didn't get the watermelons that were inside of this UFO catcher in the episode that I played, but I'm gonna try my luck right now because you know your boy Jay is a boss, and I can't go out like a little bitch. So let me buy a couple games right now, and let's do this thing. Okay, this cloth thing is some ass because it has two weak handles, and I don't know how it's gonna pick up this Yandere Simulator box, but I'm gonna try my luck right now. So let's try to grab it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I almost got that bitch. You know what? Let me try to get the one that's close by. Let's put it right there. And this is the perfect angle. Grab that ass. No. Nope. Oh my god, I almost got it, you son of a- you Wait, win. I got it. I freaking got it. Are you serious? Give me that. Oh, I got the Yandere Chan one. Fuck yeah, boy. All right, let's try it again. Let me try to get the whole set. So this is pretty easy. All you gotta do is knock this bitch over to the side, and then you get all the toys. Watch this. I don't even need to pick it up. I just gotta knock it over to the side. See? Another one. Let's see which one I got this time. <laughs> one take J right here. Watch this. Oh yeah. Oh my god, really? Okay, two take J, but only for today. Watch this. Yeah, baby. Oh my god. Forget one take J and two take J. Third time's a charm, like I always say. So let me grab this. Oh my god, you have to be playing with my balls. You better grab it this time, or I will find you and I will kill you. There you go. Okay. So we got that. And before I get the other box, let me just get this one out the way. It's only gonna take one more try. Watch this. Bada bing. A bada. Oh my god, I grabbed it all the way. Holy shit, I'm a fucking boss. Okay, let me get these last two, and I'm pretty sure it's Midori and Kakoni. Oh, there's an Oka one too, but there was only four boxes. So we got Oka, and then we got another Yan Charm. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. They're balls. All right, I can work with some balls. That's what she said. Like a boss. Come on. What? It's gonna be harder to grab the round ones. How am I gonna grab these? This is almost gonna be impossible. Look at this. How am I gonna grab this bullshit? All right, let's just do this. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, how am I gonna grab this? There's no way. <laughs> There's just no way. But you know what? I'm determined. Get your ass over here. Gotcha, oh bitch. my god. No! <laughs> these balls like it when I talk dirty to them. Watch this. Get your ass over here. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Get in my grasp, you son of a bitch. That one didn't even close. <laughs> Come on. Close. Yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Thank you. Boom. This one is... Bruh. Hell yeah, boy. All right, watch this, guys. I'm gonna get all these balls like a boss. You know what, guys? All you gotta do is make sure the shadow is hovering over the ball, and you're gonna get it all the time. Watch this. Look at that. Oh, my God. Don't even listen to me. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Why is this so fun right now? It's so stupid because it's not even real, but it's fun to actually grab all these balls. Bruh. You just gotta make sure the shadow on the bottom is directly hovering over the circle, and then you're gonna grab that ball every time. Look at that. You better not fall. You are the spawn of Satan. Thank you. Oh, every time I say thank you, you F me right in my A. You better not fall. There's no reason for you to fall. Gotcha, thank bitch. you. Okay, two more. Come on, Jay, two more. Oh, this is going to be so easy. Oh, yeah, boy. Looking like a Voltorb. Come to Papa. This one's right on the money. Look at this. Oh, I can smell it. I can smell it. Mmm, it smells so fucking good. Yes. All right, so let me collect all these and let's see what we got. So in the first ball, we got another Yandere Simulator shirt with Yanchan on the front. 
Another one. Another shirt like that. Okay. All right, guys. But that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. Also, if you guys want to play this Shoujo City game, link to it will be in the description box below. I know there wasn't too much going on in this episode, but come on. Throw your boy a bone. There wasn't that many updates, but I just wanted to check one thing. And that one thing happened to be pretty damn interesting. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead. Dude!